finished the last example with Wendy's and Arby's being the only producers of burgers. Now, at $15 a burger, the quantity supplied by Wendy's is 100 burgers and by Arby's 50 burgers. So, let's just jot that down on our uh, graphs here to make it uh, to make it apparent that at $15, Wendy's will supply 100 burgers. And at the same at the same price, Arby's will only supply 50 burgers. So at $15 a burger, the quantity supplied by Wendy's is 100 burgers and by Arby's is 50 burgers. So the quantity supplied by all producers is 150 burgers, which is 100 plus 50 supplied by both Wendy's and Arby's, which are the only two producers of burgers in the market. So then we can just note that down in our market supply graph here that at $15, the total amount of burgers that the market supplies is 150 burgers. And let's just draw some arrows to see the range, the ranges that, uh, that, that the producers can or will produce burgers. Just a bit of a lag. So, not too hard. So the market supply curve, this market supply curve that we're going to get here, is just the horizontal sum of the individual supply curve. So much as the same as what we did before, we take the amounts that, uh, that we take the individual supply curves we roll with Wendy's and Arby's and we add them up. At, f at $5 per burger, nobody will supply anything. Wendy's supplies zero, Arby's won't even look at it. So market demand at $5 is zero, or the market supply is zero. At $10, Wendy's will start supplying 50 burgers, but Arby's will still keep it to zero. So, so then the market supplies 50 burgers. At $15, we're already taking care of that. At $20, $20, Wendy's will supply 150 burgers, and Arby's will supply uh, 100 burgers, so that would make a total of 200, 250. And that'll be it there. Now, the last point at $25, Wendy will supply 200 burgers, RB will supply 150. So that'll actually make 350. And I'm just gonna change the number here to 350. 350. And that is at $25. So how this graph is going to look like, it's just going to look like this. So just connecting the dots now. And that is our, that is our market, market S or market supply, which is also our marginal social cost curve because remember I said before that the market market supply curve is also a marginal social cost curve and that's all for today I hope you learned something please rate comment and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching